Welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this original thread checker. So this is a thread gauge that you can use. You often see these in like hardware stores to check the pitch of threads on screws and bolts. But this is a portable one. I got this on Amazon. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the idea behind this is that you can throw this in a toolbox or you can hang it up in your shop and then you can use it to check thread sizes. So you could take your bolt or nut to the hardware store and use their thread checker, but a lot of times we'll order things online. So it's nice having a thread checker at home. So I have an assortment of nuts and bolts here. I haven't tested, you know, I just opened this. So yeah, I haven't tested these ahead of time. I do know this is a quarter 20. I don't know the exact thread pitch of these, but I'll be checking all of these out. But they may not work with this system too. I'll, I will find that out. So this does have standard and metric sizes on it. So you'll see, like I'm in the US, so we have a lot of standard um, size nuts and bolts, like in construction, that's common. You'll see these a lot in like TV mounts. We'll have a lot of metric thread. And aside from that, it's very depends on what you're looking at. So we'll take this one. I know this is quarter 20, so I'll try and screw that in here. And that screws in just nice as I expected. Let's check out these smaller ones. So that fits in loose. So this is going in here, but it seems a little bit like it's binding. And this is a number 832. Let me see if I can get a better close-up of how the numbers are written on here. There we go. So they are stamped in, and then they put some ink inside. So they can be a little tricky to read. I like that they are stamped so it won't rub off completely, but I imagine that paint could rub off. The metric are a lot easier to read here because they use white paint on the inside. There's another one, there we go. So, so yeah, I wasn't sure if this screwed in there. Let's see how far in that going. Yeah, that did not screw in very far. So one thing you'll find is if things are close, that if you can force it, and that's not a good idea. Let's check and see if this is metric. And there we go, that's our answer. It is metric. So you have to be careful. You don't want to force anything. So that is a M4.7. So let's check this one out here. This should be too big. No, that's the right size. That is also same size. Funny to my eye, the bottom one looked a little thicker than the top one. Of course, they're the same screw. Yeah, I'm real smart here. <laughs> so another screw. I think this one's probably standard. So here we have a 1024. And then also we have the nut on this side. There we go. Let's try these bigger ones. These are gonna be definitely be uh, SAE or Imperial. Okay, so that's a 3816 there. And of course, the nut will fit on the other side. And this is going to be the largest size here. It's half 13. So 
So a pro and a con of this is that you could take this, you'd probably hold it something like that, and you could go to say like an engine and you could screw this in something in the block of your engine or something that is, um, you know, somewhere beside your workbench. You can't really do that with a one that's mounted on a wall or something. The downside on the other hand is you have this big cable here that you have to hold, which can kind of get in the way. You could, if you did it often, you could just cut this cable and use these loose. You could put them in like say a small uh, parts container, organized, and then you could take this out, test it where you want and put it back when you're done. But I don't know of any thread checker that would make it convenient to have things separate, but also have them all together at the same time. So I think this is gonna be a nice addition to my shop. Now I can check nuts and bolts at my house. I can order them online if I want, or I can still go to the hardware store and get them, but I'll know exactly what size I need. So another little thing to consider, if you do go to the hardware store and you want to get like an M10-1, what you should do, I mean, you found the size out at home. When you get there, find the hardware you need, and then check it on their thread checker. They'll have one on the wall or something, because every once in a while things will get uh, out of place there. So you don't want to go solely on this. If you took the bolt with you, you could check it, but if you don't take the bolt with you, make sure you confirm it on their thread checker. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.